This is the morning shower brought to you by Late Night Hump. Let the news wash over you with Jordan Freed, Brendan O'Brien, and Rena Ezra. These are your shower headlines. 13 time Grammy winners, the Chicks, are heading back on tour, their first major outing since 2017, and first shows since releasing their fifth studio album, Gaslighter. Unfortunately, the price of oil has went up since their last tour, so they might want to gas lighter. Russia has restricted access to Facebook, claiming the social media giant has censored Russian media amid the Ukraine conflict. In a statement sent to several published outlets, the country's Ministry of Communication said Facebook, quote, violated the rights and freedoms of Russian citizens by censoring Russian outlets. It's certainly good to know that when it comes to maintaining standards of freedom, Russia has drawn the line at Facebook. Authorities seized nearly $3 million worth of methamphetamine hidden among a shipment of onions, thus proving that blooming onions are addictive. The governors of a handful of U.S. states have ordered government-run liquor stores to stop selling Russian-made vodka and distilled spirits in solidarity with the Ukrainian people after Russia's invasion of the neighboring country. Utah Governor Spencer Cox became the latest over the weekend, instructing the state's Department of Alcoholic Beverage Control on Saturday to take off all Russian-produced and branded products from the shelves of its retail stores. It seems like as long as this conflict continues... Fewer and fewer people will be putting r- vodka in their glasses. Amazon and telemedicine provider Teladoc Health are starting a voice-activated virtual care program that lets customers get medical help without picking up their phones. So now, your doctor can tell you to lose weight the second they hear you eating chips. The Golden State Warriors blew a 19-point fourth-quarter lead to the Dallas Mavericks on Sunday in a thrilling game at Chase Center. Steph Curry had hit a three-pointer with 10 seconds of remaining to give the Warriors hope, but the Mavericks made two free throws with 7.9 seconds left on the clock to complete it, a dramatic 107-101 comeback victory. Wow, Golden State really puts the L in Warriors. Oh, there is no L in Warriors? Tell it to the Warriors, because they certainly aren't putting the W in anything. Workers at Target stores and distribution centers in places like New York could see starting wages as high as $24 an hour this year. That wage may sound good to you, but $25 an hour was the target. The UN Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change report said Monday if human-caused global warming isn't limited to just another couple tenths of a degree and Earth now struck regularly by deadly heat, Fires, floods, and drought in future decades will degrade in 127 ways, with some being potentially irreversible. We could say this is a case of saying the sky is falling. Unfortunately, with the rate that we are destroying this planet, there won't be much of a sky left to fall. The need for face coverings in most indoor spaces in Illinois was ending Monday as the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic eases. Now, you can cover your face with a scarf for the three months more of Illinois winter. The SAG Awards took place last night, and amongst the winners was Will Smith for his role in the biopic King Richard. The win is the first of the actor's career as he took the statue home for his portrayal of Venus and Serena Williams' father. And I know what you're thinking, and the answer is no. Believe it or not, Will Smith did not previously win the SAG Award for the cinematic classic Wild Wild West. A gemstone, billed as one of the largest gem-quality opals in existence, was sold for $143,750 at auction in Alaska on Sunday. The opal, dubbed the American Australis, weighs more than 11,800 carats. Kevin Garnett has not been reached for comment. Thank you for showering with us. Lather, rinse, repeat every day before noon. Scrub-a-dub-dub at latenighthump.com.